Hey YouTube, it's your girl Tracy, aka Ayana Piranha, and I'm coming to you with another quick tutorial. I think I finally got enough gumption to really do the China Bang. If you watched my video where I did the hot glue gun wig um, before, you knew that um, I was a little too scary and I played it safe and did my little swoop bang, but now I'm just gonna go full throttle and go in and do the China Bang. So, I'm not going to film the whole thing because it's going to be another hot glue gun wig and you can reference my other video. Um, I'll put the link in the description bar. Um, so just to tell you how that started, as you can see, my hair is in a crochet weave. So what I did is I pulled it all back and pulled it down, put a ponytail holder on it and then put the dome cap on top of it to measure. Here is my handy dandy trusty styrofoam wig cap, uh, wig head, I'm sorry. And what I did is I put a like grocery bag or a shopping bag over it first. I don't know because she's all beat up. Take my shower cap. Put the shower cap over top of that. And then I'm going to place my pre-measured. You look a little foggy. My pre-measured um, with the lines already on it dome cap. So I marked it. You can see it's got like a little F on it for the front with the little closure spots in the back. So all I have to do is squeeze it onto the wig head and it's already got all the markings on it for me to get started with my um, hot glue gun wig. So, um, if any of you guys live in ATL and you know where Memorial Drive is, there's a hair store called, I think, CNC Beauty and Beyond. It's the only hair store that I know of that has a clearance aisle and y'all know that I like to get stuff on sale so believe it or not I got some hair remnants and some different colors because I wanted to try to experiment um, this bundle right here was only 99 cent so I figured I'm going to be experimenting I can do 99 cent then I also had this color which was 99 cent as well and I'm thinking that I might just put like a track or two in the back of this color and then a track or two in the front to peep through the bang because I got this hair in A1 and I've used, um, I believe I've used this hair before. It's kind of like that same Michelle brand and I figured because I'm not going to be doing a lot of manipulation to it or curling it or anything that this will be okay so it's just some generic hair and it's in a 14 inch and I got two packs and they were on sale for $8.99 so there they are in a one and then I have these that I'm just gonna kind of you know throw in for a little color towards um, the top so there's that I'm gonna get started I'm gonna do all of this um, and then maybe I'll just come back and kind of show you the final look peace cookies okay so I am back and so so far what I've done is I've just glued a little bit of hair on there and I'm holding it down with push pins if you sew you know what those are so I'll put one um, just here and here to hold it down and either one of those is where I may choose to put my closure I haven't put the bang piece on yet but I just wanted to show you that I glued the lighter color if you can see that underneath the bottom so that's on the bottom <clears throat> and then I started to glue the um, the number one on top of that so so far it's looking okay I hope it comes out alright but there you have it and I'm just gonna keep gluing like that and then glue a piece over top and I may split the tracks in the front but so far so good a little glue in the hair but nothing a little comb won't take out so we're gonna keep going and I'll be back okay kitties I'm back um and I have my closure here and I think I've showed you guys how to do this on camera before but you just simply um, cut a piece of the track maybe about this long and you apply track glue to it and then you take it from one end to the other and you slowly roll it up so right now I have it all rolled and I have to I had to use some different hair because honestly I made another closure um, 
out of the hair that this wig is made out of, but then I kind of messed it up because I was being lazy, so I had to go back and do it again. But there's that. Um, so once you have it rolled up, what you're going to want to do is just kind of make it a pineapple and then just kind of spread it out. So you see there's the bottom and then you just kind of turn it over like this. And it looks like my closure is not tight enough. So I'm going to have to try and press that together. So. But anyways, you fold it out like this. You take your flat iron and then you just kind of smush it down in the middle so that it lays flat. Um, and then after that, I'm just going to apply some hot glue into the top part where that's left open after I glued it onto the circle and then I'm just going to press the closure down and the wig just fell and press the closure down and I'll come back to show you the finished product okay so I'm back and I finished the closure y'all I just absolutely have to say this is probably the best closure that I've ever made I'm going to try and pull it all the way up to the camera. But here it is right there. That's a bomb closure. Now, the scary part is this cut in the bang. As you can see, I put the light part in the front. I'm hoping that it's not too thick. Um, what I did is I didn't glue the tracks all the way around. I kind of like, I don't know, put two of the blonde tracks here. Um, you know, glued everything else in the back up to that part and then got there. So, maybe I'll do a video of me cutting. I don't know. I'm, y'all know I'm terrified of cutting this bang. I swear I am. But, anywho, there is the closure. Here is the wig itself. Hot glue gun wig on a dome cap part two. With the light color under the bottom um it's got a little bit of shedding going on but of course it's synthetic hair and i did cut the webs i didn't do any sealing or anything like that so um there it is this is the front part and um hopefully it comes out right so stay tuned for more there'll be pictures and all that jazz Okay, don't judge me y'all because y'all know I still have my crochet weave is still in and I just put the cap down and everything on it just to try the wig on to see what it looks like so it's not laying completely flat. But here she is prior to me um, cutting it. I haven't cut anything yet. I kind of thought about just leaving it like this. Let me see my, my lump in the back. I kind of thought about... It's um, a 14 inch, but it seems to be, I don't know if you can see it, pretty, pretty long. It comes to like under my bust area, and that's without it laying like all the way flat. So here is the hair. I was in here singing uh, my humps by the Black Eyed Peas and swinging this hair because it's got all kinds of body and life to it. Sometimes you just need to take a pause for the cause. Get your dance break on. So, this is it. Um, I haven't cut the bang yet. I'm terrified. But I'm about to cut this bang, I promise. I'm going to cut it right now. So, um, let me get my life together, cut this bang, and I'll be right back. Okay, cookies. So, now for the moment of truth.
Okay, so I'm going to try and curl it and see what it looks like, and I'll be back. Okay, cookies, so I am back. Now, remember again, my crochet weave is still underneath this, so it's not laying completely flat. Um, but this is, I don't know when's the last time I cut a bang on anything. I don't know, probably like high school or something. I don't know. But, um... I guess I was kind of paranoid because I was told by a hairdresser, and I quote, that I have a short forehead, like there's not enough space in between like my actual hairline and my eyebrow for me to successfully wear a bang. But I like bangs. I like to have options. And so I figured um, that I would try it anyway. So, because I figured because it's a wig, it's on a wig cap, I can play with it. I can slide it back and you know do whatever to try and figure it out but um this is it I just pulled it down so that's why I was covering my eyes but I don't think I did too bad of a job cutting it but I think that you know once like once I get my hair taken down out of the crochet weave that's underneath here and really like lay it down flat and then when I sew it down I think that um, it may actually look really really cute so um, there it is that's how it looks right now um, so I think I may cut just a little bit more just to be on the safe side and um, of course there will be pictures and what have you um, post it so that you guys can get a look at that. Um, stay tuned for more. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.